On today's episode, Stefan builds an intake for the track car. So we stole Dylan's Skunk 2 off of his uh, Miata right over there. Uh, parts car, uh, Dylan's parts car. It is just mocked up right now on the Skunk 2. It's still actually kind of loose. Got some pre-bents. I already cut this one earlier. Gonna essentially make this run down into here and down. And I've got some tools that I'll show you that I'm gonna use to make this easier. And I'll link those down below. Tools that I just found that I should have bought a year or three ago. So uh, I've got all sorts of pipes and stuff. Uh, first thing we're gonna do is, I've already got this cut, but 45 here is too much for the radiator. So I'm gonna take the 45 and I have another 45. And this cool tool, as you open it, it reads the angle that you need to cut. So 18 and a half worked perfectly. So I'm gonna cut 18 and a half degrees off of another piece of pipe. So that'll give me a straight and then 18 and a half. And then that will put the pipe kind of right where I want it in the uh, I don't know if you want to call it the fender well, the headlight pocket. And then I'm going to drill a hole with a three inch hole saw right through that. And we're going to feed it underneath the car. So I cut this to 18 degrees and the fit marked it already. Comes as close to the radiator as I'm comfortable with. And then we're going to cut this off later and do a almost 90 down into the fender well. And that'll really be it. It'll be pretty short little intake. So I'm going to weld that together and at least put some tacks on it. So it is hole saw drilling time, which means this is all set up. This is just a shortened uh, two and a half inch coupler. There's the pieces I tacked together. This comes down to right around there. And then this blue dot here is actually halfway between the frame rail, which runs right here and the upside of the edge here. So I spotted that in the middle and it lines up with the intake hose. So I'm gonna drill through that and then we'll put the last piece on the bottom of it and IAT bomb, which I have. So we'll do that today. This pipe is cut to, it's like 62, 63 degrees. This is two and a half inch, that's a three inch hole saw, so there's room to play. If you look at it, there's about a quarter inch all the way around. Pipe comes straight down and everything is lined up. That gap, which you can barely see right there is good. So I'm gonna mark this, tack it up. So I whipped up a bracket down here to hold it all in place. This is just how long with that one bolt. And once there's a clamp up on here, this thing is gonna be rigid, but it can move enough with the engine as the engine moves. The next thing I'm gonna do is full weld both seams. Thankfully there's only two. And then I'm gonna drill and put the IAT sensor just like right here, super easy to get to. If we ever have to swap it out, let's just pop it out, pop a new one in. It's out of the radiator heat path, so this should work really well. And it'll clear here too, because we have a second small fan that's gonna go right underneath. So this has space. There is uh, a little gap there. As you can see, the intake is in. The wiring is in for the uh, IAT sensor. It's all bolted up and it is solid. Uh, the intake itself is a little loose, but uh, the piping is good. We've got a filter on the end of it that looks sweet. I can't wait to see what kind of IATs we see on the dyno and things like that and on track, especially with this. I've never seen a Miata with this kind of setup, so this will be cool to, to test out. But uh, let me know what you guys think. Have you seen somebody do an intake like this? And if you guys have heard results, I know the 21 inch intake is a magical number. 21 to the throttle body plate. On the money. <laughs> right, right to the plate. Like I didn't plan that either. That's just dumb luck. 
Uh, I'm curious to see if we see any power benefits with you know this plus the square top and all that stuff. So leave a comment down below what you think. Uh, like the video if you liked it, dislike it if you didn't. And make sure you guys subscribe to see more. Uh, we are making some killer progress on this car moving forward right now. Uh, it's like leaps and bounds every weekend. So stay tuned for more of that and we'll see you guys around. Boy, these cars are thin. You haven't even skimmed the door. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs>